Hi, it's Liz Eden. Let's have a look at making histograms. So a histogram is a summary graph, but specifically for continuous data. Now you'll notice on my graph there, I've got three bars, but each of the bars is touching each other. There's no gaps, and that's because we have continuous data. So let's have a look at an example. Let's try and draw a graph of the wall sit times. So the first thing I need to do is make myself a frequency table because I need that data summarised before I can put it into a graph. So I want my wall sit time in one column and the frequency in the other. So I need to look at my wall sit times and think, well, what is the biggest number? And the biggest number is 640. So now I want to split the data up into equal size sections that go up to at least 640. So I'm going to choose to split them into four equal size groups of about 200 wide. So I'm going to go from 0 to 199, 200 to 399. Notice how I'm not overlapping. 400 to 599 and 600 to 799. Now that I have my categories, I'm going to see how many pieces of data fit in each. So I've got my 114 there, so that is the only number in that first category between 0 and 199. Now let's look at the second category between 200 and 399. And we've got two values, at 352 and at 238. So we've got a frequency of 2. Then we've got a value of 421 belonging into our next category. So that gives us a frequency of 1. And our last value is 640, which gives us a frequency of 1 in the 600 to 799 category. So now let's look at making this into a graph. Put our axes there, and we have our frequency on our vertical axis there. Now my highest frequency is 2. So that's why I just go kind of a little bit more than that. So I've only gone up to a frequency of 3. And on my x-axis, I have my wall sit times. And I'm going to split them into those different limits at the end. So 0 to 200, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8. So let's look at the first wall sit time. That has, between 0 and 199, has a frequency of 1. So therefore from between 0 up to 200, but not including it, I'm going to do a frequency of 1. Our next category, 200 to 399, has a frequency of 2. Our third category, frequency of 3, oh sorry, 1, and our fourth category, a frequency of 1. And so that is a histogram of the data. Put a title at the top. And thanks very much for watching.